What is going on guys, today we're back with a video and today we're back with a video I did not think I would be making today. A few hours ago, Daisy tweeted out that Daisy Experimental 1.10 has gone into experimental which is amazing because it means number one the mask should be very very near and everybody's been waiting on this update for a long time wondering what they're going to add in and the amount of stuff they have added in the amount of stuff they have changed is is probably it's the biggest update of the year i think so let's just jump straight into it so we'll go through the added section first they have added so you can now break a player's lower leg. Damage is applied by falling or brute force. Walking slash fighting with a broken leg will result in shock damage. Broken legs are back. Half broken legs are back, but it's still broken legs and they're back. Amazing. Added the signal pis pistol and its ammunition in various colors. So this is a flare that uh, you should open to the sky. Added crafted tanned leather using garden lime, so you can now make different leather. Added crafted leather backpack. Added a crafted improvised shelter. Added localization for Brazilian Portuguese. I think that's something to do with several ways, could be wrong. Uh, added the crafted splint. Added the tarp, which is a material. Added the ability to replace room parts on tents. So the entrance door, window covers, stuff like that. They've added a pipe wrench. They have added, so now you can now repair a damaged car engine with the pipe wrench. You can now repair parts of the vehicle chassis with epoxy putty. Clothing items now have an indicator for their isolation value. Exposure to wind will make your character freeze more. So uh, forest can provide cover. Food decays over time. People have been asking for this one with such a long time as well. Items dry up over time when put on the ground or in the cargo space on the ground. Proximity to a fireplace is no longer required, but the area of a fireplace dries items faster. 
items cool down over time in the player's inventory on the ground so now you can't cook a bit of meat and put it in your inventory and run around forever and be constantly warm that is no longer a thing added a heat buffer to supply an overtime heat bonus to the thermal comfort of the player's character you receive a temporary heat bonus after spending time near a fireplace added a smoking slot to several types of fireplaces to use to dry meat added additional coastline details between prison island and ostrog making the sea tra uh, traversal easier and more interesting. Pun punching now deals damage to gloves and can cause bleeding to bare hands. Added a visual effect to increase shock damage both reflecting getting hit and current state. Added damage when jumping out of a ve running vehicle. Also including a chance of broken legs and death. Added new visual heat haze effect from for the fireplace, flare, road flare and torch lights. That's everything they've added. That's a ton of stuff to add so far people are probably going to complain going oh there's no new guns or anything like that i don't care that's amazing and it's all a lot of stuff to do with heat and stuff like that and it make you think oh it's probably all from a mouse which probably most of it is now we'll go on to all the fixed stuff as well they fixed an issue that prevented the player from combining stacks of items from their inventory with the second stack being in their vicinity item wetting slash drying was not taking into account attachments and nested inventories Fixing wrong decals on the legacy police ogler wreck. They fixed the sound issue related to doors in several buildings. There was an issue with that where some doors didn't have a sound, some doors were quieter. It was very, very weird. I think that that's fixed that. Fixed window collisions in several buildings. I think this is where we explained during the uh, dev video that you could jump through windows. I think they fixed that. We will check it out though. It's no longer possible to climb up the broken staircase of the industrial silo. It was possible to open city store back doors by pressing F at certain places of a, pieces of furniture in the front part of the building. Oh, that's interesting. Sawn off weapons now have a short weapon length uh, when it comes to collision with walls, etc. Oh, that's really, really good. Fixed an issue uh, restoring a rag to pristine state after being used as a gag. Fixed an issue preventing the player from detaching their magazine. Dead bodies of players should now fall through walls less often. Very good. It should now be more intuitive to locate the inventory of dead bodies. Good. It was possible to consume pills and other items when they were ruined. Bile steaks show a wrong texture. Honestly, I didn't realize you could bile steaks, but there we go. Uh, <laughs> it was not possible to place traps, barrels, and crates on slopes. Fix a bug causing a stuck item widget. Added the missing engine to the adder X. It was possible to get sick by drinking slash eating when the player had gloves and bloody hands. Locked doors were not saved correctly when opened by damage, making them lock themselves again after a server restart. Grass was not flattened when driven over with a vehicle. Water particles were, were appearing uh, when hitting a player that is not on an object above the sea. Fixed various object placement fixes for both Trenners and Livonia terrains. The player was able to fish through pliers. Climbing an object while it was being deleted could teleport the player. Oh, that's an interesting one. So a lot of fixes there again. A lot of fixes we've been actually kind of waiting a while for. Seem to have been fixed now as well, which is great to see. Uh, going into the changed one. Again, there is a lot of stuff that has been changed. A hell of a lot of stuff that has been changed. So we're going to run through it and see what we can uh, what we can see. Adjusted the basic temperature behavior to more authentic warm afternoons, cold mornings. Wind chill, fog and altitude penalties will, are not applied to local environment temperature if a player is inside a building. Being under a roof provides lower local environment temperatures bonus uh, than being inside a building. Increase the effect of altitude on the local environment temperature around the player. Balance the heat isolation values of clothing items. Balance the maximum wetness level of clothing items. Items inside other items will only get wet when the container is soaked or drenched. Automated dyeing of, or drying of clothing not wringing out is now less effective. Cloud cover increases the base environment temperature more. The character speed has a longer impact on the overall heat comfort. The backpack is now taken into account for heat comfort. The armband was removed. Oh, the armband's gone. Huh. Interesting. 
You can now skin animals with axes, saws, the shovel, the pickaxe, the crowbar, and the screwdriver. Yes, finally. I've been asking for that with a while. Clothing will no longer get badly damaged during the initial spawn. Good. Good, so they're going to spawn you in, I think, now with pristine clothing, which is good. Especially if they're after changing all this heat stuff, it'd be a nightmare otherwise. Shoes will no longer get damaged during the initial spawn. Also good. Adjusted the occurrence of arrows for bleeding in the HUD. Now more progressive instead of nothing and then three arrows. Yeah. Reduce the melee damage against animals. Oh, so now it's not like one shot kill anymore. It's, it's going to take a while. Adjusted the dro item drops of, from animals. Reduced the usability of duct tape for certain items. Damaged individual vehicle zones will be displayed in DUI when you look at them. Nice. Vitamin pills can be combined but not split. Medication can be split and combined. Adjusted lard consumption when cooking. One full lard can be used to prepare eight pieces of baked meat. Tools damage due to crafting is now consistent across recipes. Balanced tool damage across actions. It is no longer possible to dry meat by cooking it on low temperatures, replaced by smoking slot in the stoves. Increase the speed of cooking when using the direct cooking slots. Both house doors are now twin doors instead of single. Resize the heat pack to one by two in the inventory. Animal meat will fill your stomach more. Increase the nutritional value of farmed vegetables. Any e eating or drinking with bloody hands bears the risk of infecting the player with a salmonella. High player character immunity levels are easier to get. Requires on water and energy lowered and, and they now correspond to the UI badges too. The influenza disease is generally slower in increase and has slower immune response to it. Antibiotics are now weaker and have a slower tick in sync with the disease. Chlorian takes longer to build up and disappear. Penalty scaled with disease progression and higher resistance against immunity. The build up of salmonella disease is faster, will activate sooner and the penalties are scaled with the progression of the disease. Charcoal tabs have now a slower tick and a delayed response in fighting salmonella. Applying saline adds hydration in addition to blood. The tent packing action is now continuous. No more instant packing of tents. The pickaxe can be used to dig hidden stashes. Good. Adjusted the default comfort temperature to the player of the player character, now 28 degrees Celsius. The damage state and wetness of clothing impacts their heat isolation. So that's everything as well for the stuff they've changed and again a lot a lot of stuff has been changed and it all seems good to be honest with you i don't see anything with it it seems like they're making it a bit harder but they're balancing everything out a bit more as well like with antibiotics being a bit, a bit weaker and taking longer and stuff as well so it's definitely going to be interesting to see how it all works uh, they have some bits on central economy as well they fixed an issue of the bear not spawning properly in all cases when using the offline database and they've disabled the spawning of berries for some reason i'm not sure why but there we go there is some server side stuff some larger stuff and some modding stuff but the general people probably player base probably won't want that so i'm not going to add that in but i'll be linking the passion notes down below anyway so you can check it out yourself if, if you do want to a lot bigger than i was expecting it to be i wasn't expecting it to come out right now to be purely honest which uh, kind of stunned me so i'm like <laughs> in a rush trying to go through everything here but i think i'm going to stream this at some stage it will either be today the day this video goes up or the following day if you want to see what the experimental is like subscribe notification button like the video as well it always helps out share it around as well and let me know what your thoughts about it are in the comment section down below as usual and until then i should catch you guys in the next one so Peace out for now.